Hello friends, this video on NEAT Human Health and Diseases is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's move on to the third category which is Symbiotic Nitrogen Fixing Bacteria. The next category is Symbiotic Nitrogen Fixing Bacteria. Now as we have discussed before also that symbiosis is a mutual relationship between two organisms where both the organisms get equally benefit. So generally these symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria they exist or they live in association with plants and the relationship is such that the bacteria get their food and shelter from the plants and the plants get the nitrogen from the bacteria. Nitrogen in the sense that these bacteria help to fix the atmospheric nitrogen into the soil and that's how the plants are able to get the desired nitrogen in the desired form which is usable by the plants. So that's how both plants and the bacteria get benefited from each other and that is why this association is symbiosis. Now let us look at the first example. So the first symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria is rhizobium. Now the speciality of rhizobium is that they form nodules at the root of leguminous plants. So basically they are always associated with the root nodules of leguminous plants. So what are leguminous plants like peas, beans, they, they all fall under the category of legumes. So in their roots they, these bacteria they form nodule like structure. Normally they live freely in the soil but that time they can't fix nitrogen. They fix nitrogen only when they are present in the root nodules. Almost 10 to 12 species of rhizobium exists and all of them are known for nitrogen fixation. So that's about nitro, uh, rhizobium. The next nitrogen fixing bacteria is Frankia. So Frankia is associated with the root nodules of non-leguminous plants. So Frankia is associated with root nodules of non-leguminous plants. So Frankia is also known as the mycelial bacteria. Why mycelial bacteria? Because they, they, un, they are under the category of actinomycetes. So, uh, so that's how rhizobium and Frankia, they are known as the popular symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria which are present in the root nodules of plants. Besides that, you also have other nitrogen fixers like Xanthomonas and Mycobacterium. These are present in internal cavities of leaves of plants. So you can find them in the cavities of leaves. So inside the leaves you have small cavities and inside those cavities these uh, nitrogen fixers are present. So in which plants do you find nitrogen fixing bacteria in cavities of leaves? One such example of a plant is Ardesia. So this is about the nitrogen fixing symbiotic bacteria. Now let us talk about the symbiotic nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria. So the most popular thing that comes to our mind is the Azola anabina association. So what is this? So Azola is a fern. What is anabina? Anabina is a cyanobacteria. And what kind of, how does this association between the two helps? The, this association between this fern, azola and the cyanobacteria, anabina, help is very much helpful in agriculture. Now, let's see what kind of relationship, how is the relationship between azola and anabina an example of symbiosis. Let's understand that. Now, what happens is this fern, azola, so azola gets continuous supply of nitrogen because of the presence of anabina because anabina is a nitrogen fixer and what is the benefit that anabina gets now anabina resides in the leaf cavities of azola and therefore it gets a, a shelter you can say that it gets a place to live in so it lives in the leaf cavities of azola so that's how they both benefit from each other now, why is Azola Anabina Association so popular? Because it is very much helpful in agriculture. Now, you might ask that how? Like, how is an association between uh, Azola and Anabina themselves? How is it going to help in agriculture? So, that is because, because, uh, because this 
एसोसिएशन और एजोला एनिबीना दे कैन ग्रो विथ राइस प्लांट्स विदाउट इंटरफेयरिंग विद देयर ग्रोथ सो वॉट डू वी डू सो बेसिकली वी पुट these plants that is the azolla are put into the rice fields now in the leaves of the azolla you have the anibina and anibina are the nitrogen fixers now due to the presence of the fern azolla in the rice fields the rice plants also get sufficient amount of nitrogen so when the rice fields are dried after harvesting azolla still acts as a green manure enriching the field to prepare the field for the next crop so basically if you look at this picture Here, you see these are the rice plants right and what are these these are nothing but the azolla that is the fern so the ferns are purposely kept or purposely introduced into the rice fields because in, in the leaves of this fern you have anibina and anibina fixes nitrogen so huge rich supply of nitrogen can be provided to the rice plants so this is how azolla anibina association is helpful in agriculture now let's move on to the next category which is loose association of nitrogen fixing bacteria now what do we mean by loose association so here the bacteria do not establish a very intimate relationship with the plant they just stay in the soil somewhere around the plant roots so the bacteria is not staying within the plant or it has no physical association with the plants but the bacteria stay nearby to the roots of that plant so that is why it is called a loose association so one example of loose association is the rhizosphere association now what is rhizosphere so rhizosphere is a narrow region of the soil which is influenced by soil microorganisms and root secretions and this rhizosphere contains many bacteria so basically rhizosphere is a narrow region of soil and it contains many bacteria now what happens in this association so here the bacteria which remains in the soil for example let's say if this is the plant so the bacteria they would remain near the roots of the plants but they are not attached to the roots of the plants like how it was in case of symbiotic relationship where the bacteria are kind of uh, present in the root nodules of the plant so they are physically attached to the plant now in some cases we saw that the bacteria are present in the leaf cavities of the plants so they are again physically associated with the plants in this case the bacteria is present in the soil it is not attached to the plant but it stays nearby the roots of that plant so that is why it is loose association now how uh, the benefit happens here now here the bacteria get some food from the plant parts because since it is present in the neighboring areas of the plant and the plants obviously they get nitrogen fixation by the bacteria so that's how there is a kind of benefit for each other and that is why it is called a loose association of nitrogen fixing bacteria this is also referred as rhizosphere association because this association happens in the rhizosphere itself that is that layer of soil which contains several bacteria uh, Uh, and uh, other soil microorganisms and root secretions thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you